sitting here with <laughs> Black Tie star David Bunce, and I have a few questions for him. Uh, first question. So, what drew you to this production of Black Tie? They asked me to do it. <laughs> um, well, no, seriously. I was absolutely flattered that they thought of me, but um, once I read it, I realized uh, Curtis is the character I play. Curtis has a 20-something son getting married, a younger 20-something daughter, uh, a wife who loves him, thinks he's an idiot. Um, <laughs> I have a 28-year-old son, I have a 23-year-old daughter, I have a wife who loves me, thinks I'm an idiot. Um, I also am part of the... One of the things A.R. Gurney is doing is he's, he's looking at the change of generations. Um, and I grew up in Connecticut. I am a wasp. <laughs> While I am not uh, from money, I am from working class, uh, class Connecticut wasp. So I was still part of that generation that was a huge change. From my father to me, and uh, so we absolutely had some some wonderful things to work out. Uh, and I'm part of that transitional transition. I guess all generations are transitional. Transitional, I don't know, but certainly my parents, who were born in the late twenties, came of age in the forties and fifties, things seem to have a lot more rules and be simpler because of that. That you just did things a certain way, and you didn't question that. And then, you know, I was part of the generation, uh, the Vietnam War, and all that. So I was part of the generation that came along, came along, questioned everything that they had done before. And there's a lot of that going on in this play too. Is how do you be a transitional in a transitional period like that? So it, it sounds like my life. That's what. <laughs> yeah, to me, a black tie kind of seems like. The breaking down of structure, like for, for your character Curtis, he's like questioning all these structures around him, and the father's trying to, you know, impose them. Right, and and also, what do you fill that with? Mm -hmm. How do you recreate? Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna question those traditions, what's left? What do you have left? Yeah, <laughs> and, I, and that's that's Curtis's search. Mm -hmm. I do, I do what Dad did. If I don't do what Dad did. What do I do? So now that we've been rehearsing for a week, um, what realizations have you made about your character, Curtis, in this week? Any, any major uh, changes in oh, the first thought? I don't know if there's any huge changes from what I thought when I first read the play, what the plays are basically about, but we've had a wonderful opportunity to make the discoveries my God, that's what it's really about. Mm -hmm. or in detail, when you really look at it moment to moment, this is how these transitions happen. Mm -hmm. um, these are the moments of connection, and these are the moments of not connecting and butting heads between, not only between uh, Curtis and his dad, but between Curtis and, and his wife and, and the kids. Yeah. You know? So the fine tuning, the little transitions. All the discoveries. Yeah. Great. What's your favorite summertime activity up in the Adirondacks? Riding my motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite. That's a wrap. <laughs>